There we go. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Twitch. Thanks for coming on by and checking out my VODs. I, uh... I'm playing Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. The uh, Great Earl Edition. Still. This character's still living on, and, uh... I'd say doing pretty well. Um, I am ZeranFI, or you can call me Zera, or simply Z. And here we go. I still haven't updated my music files. I need to do that soon. Add more music. There's a few tracks that I saw that might be, uh... Um, what was it? Rotation... Uh, rotation free. Royalty free. Maybe rotation free, too. Um... I think I changed my mind. No, I was gonna do a loop around. So what I did last time was mastered my magic, I think, and then I just left immediately. I think I just wanted something to do. That was my health. Okay, so we're hurt a little bit. Spin witch, stop for a moment. Are we carrying a weapon? No. So let's do this for a moment. Okay, that's good. Do some cure light wounds on myself. Bam, we're back to full health. Now the alternative, if we're using uh, magicalism, is okay. All right, let's just stay away from that. Is uh is druid or uh, magic? I believe that's the alternative to uh, really. Okay, let's kill some Migos. We're gonna get thrashed a little bit because we can't dodge for crap. The Migos hit hard as truck. And we got some pain. Wonderful. We wanted this. Okay. Oh. Oh, right, 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 right. Longsword, or we could be using our Morning Star, which I've been kind of liking more lately. What? Yeah, let's do the Morning Star. We drop our backpack. Make this a nice fair fight. We don't wait a while. There it is. Martial arts. See, we can't use uh, Morning Star with Ninjutsu, so we just go back to brawling. Where I'll stare us down at the Migo. Actually, am I going to be staring down? How big is this thing? Hard to tell. I would imagine it's uh, smaller than I am, since I am ten and a half feet tall. And we just wait here. Could I use haste? Certainly could. Just like that, we thrash into its head. Minor bleeding despite it basically caving its head in. We reel back, waiting to swing once again. We smash it in its leg. As we switch into a running sprint. We chase after the beast, finishing it off. We're slow as hell when it comes to fighting, but uh, only because we're wearing some massive armor. Now, we still don't want to fight the scout. We can win. We definitely can win. But those shots hurt. <laughs> also, it would probably hit my car for some reason. Even if I'm not next to it. And we still have yet no uh, welding wire. I don't have knowledge of making it either. I don't think. No. Not yet. College kids. That explains why there was a Migo, singular. Just then. Basketball. Alright. Well, there's a crack. Let's go uh, say hello. I'll drop off the backpack. Yeah, we're going to miss a lot. Cracks are really good on dodge. There it is. Not so much on the taking of the hits, though. I th don't think they regenerate. Hmm. Basketball is a good way of training your uh, um, your dodge, I believe. 
At least early on. Yeah. Oh well. Her dodge is a six. Yeah. Cool. Wait, she was. <laughs> Excuse me. I had to want to look at that again. Cheerleader skirt with a hard hat. That's a different kind of college. Batter up. An aluminum bat. Wait, small what? Tank top. I'll take the battery. I'll take the bat. Well, honestly, we find new ones elsewhere. I think we're good here. We did find him at the the uh, magic merchant. So what did we pick up? Smartphone. Okay. So we'll just drop off the, the that smartphone. We turn on the other one. And there we go. We're in a decent spot with music. Let's find out. Let's find out what's around here. A missile spider. Ooh. Okay. So... The topograph phase nausea, I think that's how it's called, is... Uh, I'm never going to say it right. Is... Yeah, that really is, uh, really stifling our ability to see in the distance, our scouting distance, as it should. One point flaw. I think it's actually mutatable out, too. Ooh, there's somebody. I don't know if I've seen this one before. An alien creature of uncertain origin. This is a, uh, Migo slaver from the Arcana and Magical Items. Hmm. His shapeless pink body bears numerous sets of paired appendages of unknown function. Her rib members, uh, wings, seem, which seem to be quite useless. Its odd, vaguely pyramid-head uh, shaped, uh, shaped head bristles with numerous wa uh, wavering antenna. Here's my little familiar. My little lady. Are you even showing on the camera? Oh, you're not. Not so much. My little lady. Yeah. Who's a good girl? Good girl. Um, let's see. Bristles with a wa uh, numerous wavering antenna, and simply gazing upon the un unnatural beast fills you with a primordial dread. It is carrying a, a oblong objects that hums with an odd keening sound. Fatally dangerous. It says a lot of things are fatally dangerous, so I'm not sure how actually dangerous it is. Oh, there's a... What the hell? That's a lot of Migos. Huh. Eight Migos now. And a scout, on which I'm heading right towards. Let's veer away from that. Holy crap, that's a lot of Migos. This would be like early game nightmare fuel. So what I'm doing here is uh, getting them all within fireball range because I'm a cheap bastard. Okay, let's get my wand out. Wand of fireballs, that is the way to do it. That was quick. Not bad. Scout is still approaching, kind of. <laughs> there are some of them... Wait, oh, okay, some of them are on fire. This would be the way to do it if you have grenades or some sort of splash attack. 
I don't think these guys drop anything, but I'm going to take them apart. Um, I don't know. There might be some on them. Knocked off balance. Hit in the leg. Huh. Let's do it again. That's... <laughs> that's how it's done. Oh, wow. There's some of them running. There it is. Yay. We'll dissect the ones that are still moving. Well, not on fire, anyways. Um... Alright, it's knocked down? Really? I didn't think Fireball did that. Interesting. Or it could be I'm hitting a part that disorientates him. Hmm. Those things are worth some experience. Oh. That's the most experience we've seen in a while. Get back here, experience points. <laughs> uh. S'more used to drive around in the car using, uh. <laughs> throwing rocks. This one lops fireballs. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn. That's good experience. It was like 600 or so. Um, we'll do a quick butchery. No, hmm, it's not what I was hoping for. Essence is nice. Oh, here, decent plate. Oh, okay, so they have some things on. I go do the fire. It's a bit warm. Not so much so that I have to worry. Um, you know what? I'll drag these two Migos towards me. Alright, let's see if I can grab anything off this one. So, you know what? Yeah, let's dissect one of them. And they're not coming back. Miss missing proficiencies. Hmm, I wonder if I can learn it. Oh, very hungry. Oh, stopping dissection will make it regenerate. Bah. Lame. Oh well. Okay. Oh well, let's try it again. Make sure we're full. To do. They like an animal, so that's going to piss us off. Yep. Alright, let's go back to butchering. Dissecting. We shouldn't be hungry in an hour. We didn't learn anything about biology. Hmm. Oh, I pressed capital. Oh, so tainted fats and whatnot. Okay. So principles of near human biology. Okay. Huh. Anyways. Ah, Migo and Kamet. That's what was going on. So we'll have to mess with that in the future. Maybe. So something I was uh, when I was playing single player. I uh this is all single player, but off stream. Um I learned about like I I killed a uh what's called an apis. 
uh, NPC named Apis in a uh, beehive. What I've learned was something fascinating. So I killed it, and then it dropped its uh, its exoskeleton, more or less. Its mandibles, its claws. I was like, okay, I can wear that. So I did. I couldn't remove it afterwards. And, top it off, it was chafing me. So, you know, an exoskeleton that needs padding. But you can't have padding. It's like, something, we something weird about this. It's good protection, but it was like a 16% flaw of your speed. It's, it was something. So... Hi, how's it going? I'm just gonna squeeze in here for a moment. Do -do -do. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Drive by fireball on that place. Okay. Doing everyone a favor. One wasp at a time. Um. Yeah. Oh, that was almost a car. Well, I can't see the knot weave very well. Hmm. That might be best served doing it this way. It's a weird way of doing it. An alpha bee? Oh. Well, speaking of a beehive. So... I also learned that Apis was an absolute freaking beast. Holy crap, that thing almost killed me. On my, uh, playthrough. It was nuts. So, if it almost killed my other character. Not as strong as this one, but... Can dodge, at least. Ugh. Freaking 0% with a 6 dodge. I need, I need something going on. Anyways, uh... Yeah, I managed to kill Apis, I wore its skin, and, uh... I thought it was funny. Showed my wife, and she, of course, hit me because I was being stupid. Um... They... I learned... So I found another hive. I killed that one, too. And, uh... Oh. Oh. How about no? Yeah, so I wore two pe uh, sets of, uh... Apis skin. It didn't stack negatively, like a 32% speed. I was I wasn't bulletproof, but I sure as hell felt it. I'm sure a big uh, caliber gun would show me otherwise almost instantly. Um. Hmm. Let's just go back. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Anything that avoids the roads. Well, that's a way to drive. Just drove over the freaking pit. Okay. I... <laughs> I mean, auto drive's not going to be perfect, but... What? How's our water? We're doing fine. Never mind. <laughs> All right. We'll make it here to the mass graves and drive on past. Yeah, bunch of big old zombies. I guess we're not heading south from our home or new home anyways. Who's dragging the zombies there? That's what I want to know. Some chancy driving there. So we're going to leave our friend here for now, only because we didn't have tra time to train her to uh, not die. I probably should get my hands on, like, a... I don't know. Probably, like, a spear. That'd probably be a good choice of weapon. 
I mean, she's got one, right? No, wood axe. Would rather have her have a decent weapon, to be honest. Okay. So we check in here. That's our longsword. We got different foods. Not dried meats, though. Where's our meat? I mean, I, I, granted, we're grabbing our hands on, uh... There it is. We're grabbing a variety of things, but let's make sure we have enough food to go by. How much, uh... You know what? I'll just drop the meat here. That's not that much. That's fine. Alright. Hey, Zealous, how's it going? Hope your day has been doing well. I don't feel like doing orcs. I mean, they are nearby. It would be nice to clear up the zombies. But... Our mission is to find the, uh, a tomb in al altar, I'm guessing. We don't have anything to sell. Actually, yes we do. We just put it away because uh, it's what we do. Okay. Where's the guns? Those are tools. Pickaxe, which we should keep. That's not how you spell pickaxe. Pick that up. Uh, what about sledge? That's not it. Weapons are probably up here. Hey! A variety of guns. I'll take these. Well, it works either way. I will take most of these. Keeping the uh, welding tank here. Whatever. Alright. Drag him to the car. Oh, I put the meat in there too. Whoops. Yeah, not too bad. Thanks. Extra hour in bed this morning, so I, that helps. Yeah, yourself? Um, I got myself a half an hour extra. And I woke up earlier. So. Yeah. Went to bed earlier and all that. Um. I feel, I feel like it kind of helped. It's a cumulative thing, so I need to keep at it. This is what I was looking for. So what I was trying to do is... Trade Marcana a little bit. This will take me two hours, so... Sure, let's do this. Already got the one Arcana, so... That did not help me. He can help you with a batch. Nice. Okay. Alright, I need to start getting myself some... Can I make vitamins? No. Not yet. Has no practical use, that's fine. Ah, uh, let's see, look at this. We're starting to find things we can make, though. Start to cook a fire quickly. This one applies... Interesting, it applies to a wound. Oh, it does healing. Interesting. I didn't know about that. Oh, let's make one. Alright, and... How's our Arcana? It went past two, so it actually is enough for three. Neat. I'll grab this, because it can heal me. I'll even make another one. I wasn't actually expecting to... Okay. Uh, I wasn't expect expecting to actually make anything worthwhile. And looks like we're not going to, because we ran out of stuff. That's fine. We got a little healing item. I will sit down and eat. Uh, you know what? Just pound our face with some bird eggs. They're healthy. Um, what else? 
I need some cashews because that'll round the things out. We'll head on downstairs for a moment. Say hello to the little grumpy cat. There we go. And looks like we don't have to put him away since he's kind of stuck downstairs. Unfortunate, but at least we don't have to worry for it about him dying. Um, Sledgehammer, is that in the car? Please tell me it's in the car. Yes. We got the pickaxe. Um, just in case the other option doesn't work. I feel like we're good. Yeah, we got the guns. Can't sell that thing. And we need to start finding other parts like Kevlar vests and stuff. One of the better sets of gear we can make for ourselves is survivor gear, which we can't quite survivor cowboy at. Of course, it doesn't come in extra large because, uh, you know, can't have a hat that's big. Oh boy. I might actually. If I can find a way of get it from not being large, I might consider it. They, uh... Yeah, it kind of sucks being big in this game. Especially when you can't make clothes that fits you. Okay. Or, of course, it wants to go by the road. Take mouse serum. Yeah, I imagine that's one way of doing it. I don't know if there's anything in the elephant side that I would like. Hit points? Maybe. It might have something. Um, I don't have any anal aesthetic for this guy. You have huge... No, I don't think so. No, we just got freakishly huge. Or, uh, there it is. Yep. We got bumps. I thought, I think we once had, uh, horns of some sort, didn't we? Tusks. I thought so, anyways. I guess not. Alright, well, let's head over the forge. Uh, his reasons. We got stuff to sell. So many chickens. Where's the gummy bear? Something hurts. That yeah, huge is the hit points one, right? I think it is. If it's not post threshold, you should be able to mutate out of it. It's. I don't know. Oh, I'm definitely stuck as an elephant person. But the size thing might not be so... Uh, ooh, uh, so uh, put in stone. I just saw me veer off the side. I'm like, oh, I'm going in the water, guys. <laughs> How's the battery? Oh, this thing's been wonderful. They must have did something with solar panels or something. Alright, so... Let's drag everything that's not dehydrated meat over there. Well, let's try to sell some of it. Ignore. If they're not trying to kill you, then you're fine. And if they are, well, it's about time to freak the hell out. Come on. I almost got this. Okay. Ellen Tra uh, Ta Tabrell. It's almost like travel. Alright. Um, What are you doing here? A lifetime plunder brought me many a strange item that you can have for unbeatable prices. That's totally not a like, pirate, but you know what? Not every pirate's gonna be like, YAR! Little shiver me timbers then. Let's trade. Alright, so we're looking for dinars. There is. They restocked decently. That's nice. 
some nice mana potions, which we'll eventually get there. I don't think this mutates. I'm not sure. I doubt it. This is the stuff here that we want dragon hide. Um, hide scales, but this stuff is it's a little spicy on expenses. And then we need the scales as well, which that's a little extra too. Well, that's a first. I've never seen the mithril ingot. Hmm. Anyways. Do do do. Let's see what. Oop. I don't want to sell my computer. It's more expensive than, as far as I'm concerned, anything this guy's selling. I just want to look at this for a moment. Huh. Really not much for a sniper rifle. Okay. Well. So, 9? 13? There it is. That's the sweet number. We got the dinars, and then we say goodbye. Ahoy in other nautical terms. You have completed the achievement. Everything can be had for a price. Um, oh yeah, achievement's not on here anymore. Okay. Or it's because I sold enough things. So, oh, new books. We'll take it. Um, I don't feel like we have some of these spells. Yeah, we definitely don't. Want a cold? Sure. Caustic Aura. I don't remember having that. And... Dinars. I don't think we have enough money for this. No. No, we do not. Oh, crap. Do you take debit? Oh, damn. Really? I would have never imagined. I left one behind, too. I need to grab the next one. Holy crap. I could put a dent in the dragon hide uh, costs. Provided the other one wants to buy this. And some of these are, uh... Well, not that great. Never mind. Shame they don't take cash cards. Okay, so we definitely need to uh, lighten that cost load. Yeah. Oh man, we're actually gonna have to sell our own items. Yeah, we walked in hoping to buy something. Oh, well, I guess we did. We're carrying around a saddle. Oh, damn. Some random junk there. Alright. I don't want to get rid of the dinar, so we have to find something else to sell. God damn. Alright. We'll put 200 aspirin down. We can't even use them much. So we might as well put something down. Could be useful, but just looking at my options. Do, do. And I know I have these options, but I'd rather keep the Taylor's kit because it's the whole one. This thing, if we can get our Dodger under control, this thing could be amazing. So, other options include not much. Selling all of our essence. We can get more. Honestly, yeah. We can also buy it back later. So, let's do that. What's a social like? It's, yeah, I mean, it's getting up there. We are very warm, as expected. 
gonna talk to this fella anyways. Huh. Boba Fetch t-shirt. Okay. Alright. Alright, looks like you upped your game, sir. Holy crap. And by the way, finding this for five bucks would be amazing. Bring in plus two cudgel? Hell yeah. We can actually see a comparison between a plus one and plus two right next to each other. So it's like a fair bit of more damage. It is distinctively faster. At least a little bit. That's the difference. Um, E cubes. takes a whole week to recharge. That might be worth... Oh, it better do something if it's worth uh, $13,000. One would hope. Alright, Seismic Stomp. I hope I bought that from the other person. Ooh. This is from a different game. I don't, I don't know if it's from Rogue or Adam. Um... Rugged yet extremely comfortable and well-fitting uh, boots of worn leather and steel. Looks like they've been through a lot of use and will likely see more. Makes your move movement a lot less work. Honestly, it's good stuff. Although the other ones are more expensive. Huh. Can I compare them? No, I just, just tried to buy something. Um, no. Alright. Fair enough. Neat that there's more stuff, though. I can always come back, try to sell more things, and he'll keep restocking his inventory. Okay. We've got a bunch more spells and books that we want to go through. We are out. Yup. Alright. Where do I want to go? I kind of want to go west. Let's do that. A good stepping stone for going west is going over here. Let's go... I'm going to save the game once we get there. Because, um... Uh, I don't trust Exodai. I had them destroy me from the roof one game. Or just recently. Because they felt like it. They're, uh, they're a weird plug for this game, it feels. Alright. So I don't have anything to sell right now, so we're just perusing at the moment. Oh, one of the things I mentioned earlier was uh, the differences between Biomancy and Druid Magic. One of the things you can get from Druid Magic, I think it's Druid Magic, is, uh, you can get your hands on, um, like, pain elevation stuff. It takes a while to cast, but, like, you don't have to carry on pain meds anymore. Well, as much. Unless you're completely desperate. I compl I com kind of forgot to save the game. Almost walked in, and now it would have been, uh, half an hour of work done. Just gone. Even though it was mostly just driving around. Oh, Alright, I didn't expect the file to be that big. So, uh, how are you guys doing? <laughs> I would have, uh, liked this for a moment where I go to sleep so I can plug my, uh, stuff. Thanks for coming on by, folks. If you like what you see today, consider following the channel. Those of you on YouTube, if you like what you're seeing, well, follow the channel. Subscribe. You really like what you're seeing? Uh, I have a, uh, a Patreon if you want to donate. I'll be uh, thanking everyone that um, donates at the end of the vi every video. Yeah, I'm not going to bother talking about what, what he says. I don't know if we have these. Crap, I should have carried those around. I think we have the cow home. 
jumpsuit, but not the body glove. These are pretty good. They don't come in extra large size, I learned. So, uh, yeah. Get into the reason why we should just move on from being extra large. The game doesn't exactly like it much. All right. I believe at one point there was a fair amount of extra large stuff. Enough of it, anyways. Where the hell is it? Car. Oh. A little further away. It feels like there was more stuff. There might not have been. Right? <laughs> Just watching it drive, I'm like, uh-huh. That's not nightmarish. Giant wasp. Okay, where are you? To the south? Okay. Stegosaurus decides to say what's up to a wasp. That's fair. Let me help you with your uh, endeavors. I'm just going to cast a fireball real quick. Well, that was not enough to light it on fire, but... You're going to have to live with that. See you later, Stegosaurus. It might light it on fire, it might not. I think the trick is to throw some thread first. Or some other flammable, not just thread. Oof. Didn't mean to cancel auto drive. How far does this go? Thought there'd be a force line at this point. Usually is. Oh, there we are. I was to say, it's got to be obnoxious immediately. Um, you know what? Let's hit the trail. I mean, we're not going to drive. We're just using the trail at this point. Is that a marshmallow? No, it's a flower. Brilliant. All right, we'll stop here. We'll, uh drop off our other phone. Oh, turn it off first. Thank you. Wasn't trying to <laughs> grab the entire car. Uh, grab that. We don't need spare batteries. We don't want to overdo it. We already have cherries. Let's get some other meat. We'll, uh, grab 30? I mean, I feel like we're overdoing it. Alright. There we go. That drove me nuts before. I accidentally did that a long time ago, like I off-centered everything just a little bit because I was fat-fingering the keys. And I was like, uh, what did I do? <laughs> All right, let's make sure we're not wielding that wand. Let's recharge that thing. There we go. Let's wield, uh, our little fancy morning star. I'm a fan of it. Okay, so we're barely exploring. That's all right. Ideally, we're looking for just new things, more or less. Um, the goal is to find the attunement altar. A attunement altar, to be precise. But finding new things would be great, too. And hopefully not our deaths. Which, uh... Be a shame. Make it this far and... Well, make it no further.
We didn't even get to do anything great yet. That's a... I think that's the sad part. It would be... Like, we survived all the sicknesses, but... We've been doing that with most of our characters. It's nothing new at this point. Sure. Oh. Map going on there. Sure. You know, I'm curious if the plant fiber is flammable. I mean, I know it is, but I wonder if it's as flammable as thread. I think I tested that already. Shame I forgot. This will at least also train our, uh, our survival skill. Now, if this was a swamp, I would have to be super careful, well, even more careful. I feel like I could take on an owlbear. But if I took, found like a black dragon or something, I'd be hosed. And I have no idea when you can run into one of those things. I think you can run into them almost immediately. thinking about the things I want to do with this character, one of which is the same goal as my previous one. Get a uh, helicopter going. Period. Um, I was thinking about the fact that the moment this character passes away, or if he goes on for long enough, I'll consider updating the game again. There's been a couple... Oh, was not paying attention. Hello, bar guests. Do I have enough time to drop this thing? Clearly not. It's about as fast as I am. It is slower than you. Yeah, alright. Sure. Um, alright, well. I took care of that problem. Bargas can hit you hard enough to knock you through objects. I was trying to angle it so it didn't knock me through a tree. It didn't. Oh, I like the texture of the dead grass. I mean, it's the same, uh, same texture as this, it looks like, but different color. I like the color. Alright, so we found the end of that trail. I'm just gonna keep going. Something's out here. Ants. We find fire ones. Those uh, super, super ants there, uh, kind of a pain. I can get some armor from them, though. Oh, nice. It's a good batch of berry bushes. Playing a large soldier man, avoiding most fights. It's a weird feeling. Hmm. We had dog food. We could train. Get one of those. That'd have been kind of cool. Only you had a shovel. What was that? Oh, a pile of rocks. Alright, let's see how our survival's doing. There it is. Yeah, 15%. Not bad. Our discomfort is pretty high. Covered in sweat because we're walking everywhere. It's also extremely warm. Good 
find. Now the curiosity of mine is, uh, so I found a dinosaur egg. I put one over at this camp way over here. Roughly in that uh, yard. Wonder if it hatched. Be nice if it did. I don't know why I'm walking around the woods. I think I'm just looking for something to do. At the moment, I'm trying to like think about it. I'm like, I'm hoping just to run into an altar. It's got a, a fair amount, to be honest. Uh, sure, we'll keep going this way. To anything interesting in their own travels? For me? I don't know. Aside from finding the Apis creature on the other playthrough, well, it's not even playthrough, it's single player or off stream. I, uh. That was the weird thing. Just uh, having it, like. attached to my skin. I feel like that was a... Ooh, Iron Golem. Saw that for a brief moment. Huh. I feel like that was a some sort of hiccup or something. It seems weird. Well, we are looping around at least. We find a nice place to sit down for a moment for our character. We uh, will wipe ourselves down with the towel we're carrying around. Um, okay, that's the swamp, right, right. Avoid that shit. And now we're wet. Oh in my head, a character concept, and it's taken me this long to get to here. Really hope we can make it. That'd be nice. Now, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea of just not being large. <laughs> uh, it's... Like, if I was to compare it versus small, it's punishing. Like, small gives you a bonus of dodge, and uh, you sacrifice some health, right? So, not great against turrets, but you really shouldn't be eating bullets from turrets if you can help it. Uh, so the offset would be you are uh, better at dodge and less noticeable by enemies. There's more clothes for you as well. Most things just can fit you. At some penalty, though. Um, and then, of course, there's super small, which there's less things that can be carried around as well, but... That's what it is. It's not as bad as freakishly large. Or large in general. I think they're both roughly considered the same size. When it comes to that. Just freakishly large has a uh, also an added encumbrance, I think. Do 
know, the concept was to run around like a ninja across rooftops, being probably over a thousand pounds. That's part of the fun, though. You, you think of a character concept and you go for it. This one turned out a little different. It's been fun. I enjoy this character. Ooh. Uh, four of them? Where's my car? Huh. We're gonna... Like, how long are these gonna last? Nine weeks? God damn. Alright. Uh... Alright, alright, alright. I got this. I don't want to lose out on have, having these large eggs. They're pretty rare. I mean, I have, ooh, I didn't want to. Just the, just the dinosaur eggs. Thank you. Okay. We head back to the car real quick. We. Now we're dragging everything. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Alright, it's been fun actually feeding this big boy, too. Like, it, it's difficult, but... I know what it is, right? We'll eat one of these things. Yeah. And this is this was a mistake. What way to go? Oh, it's we didn't stop for crap. Uh, you know what? We'll uh we'll wait this one out. There we go. We're back to full. But yeah, we got a tiny stomach, little baby stomach. Well, man-sized, so we can only eat what a normal man would. That's actually kind of the problem with the small character, I've noticed, is I suppose you can just ignore being hungry, because you eat yourself a sandwich, and like a burger or something, then um, you will, your character's going to be really full um, for a little while, but the amount of nutrition you need is far less than what otherwise would be, but I think the problem is that you get overweight very quickly. The offset would be you'd get, um, you need, I think, still the same amount of uh, nutrition as in vitamins. So getting those vitamins is the hard part. It's a, an issue with how they s did the system, I guess. I don't know how tough those things are. Oh yeah, we dealt with one of these before, right. It shouldn't be that bad, we just tossed a fireball at it and call it a day. Is it hostile? I cannot see it in my location. Much faster. Alright, we'll just uh, politely point at it. And it's dead. Oh jeez. Okay. I'll grab the mud board, I guess. Actually, it smells wonderful. Not very enjoyable, all things considered. Ninjutsu weapon, it's not very accurate, and it can cut tall grass. So, I'm guessing hay with it. Hey, hey. Alright, let's move on. Troll. Ooh. Okay. Alright. 
just in case it gets weird. And I have to run away. Can I run away? About as fast as I am. It might be difficult. I'm in pain, and I'm slowed. Maybe I should hold off on fighting this thing for a moment. We'll wait for our pain to go away. I mean, it's not as bad. Well, while we're at it, let's read the different books. Metals of Legend, Fireproof Mortar, Demon Forge. Huh. And then the other one allows us to make Purified Meat, Impure Meat, Flu Shot, and Pauldron of Purification. Alright then. Yeah, we're pretty warm, but at least our pain is almost gone. Good news. We can drop these books off. I don't know if I need most of these. Oh, I see. Well, that one's useless. Um, yeah, we're taking a chance, but we can leave those behind. Okay. And we'll take a moment to learn... Crystallized Mana. Oh, this allows us to recharge our wands, wouldn't it? Oh, that's nice. And our, we're no longer in pain, so we're just going to stop there. We're going to down our drinks. Yeah, we're very warm. So I think we'll pop and use our towel for once. There we go. Of leaps. Huge scaly dinosaur with hooves and broad toothless beak. And it leaped? Oh, it's fighting the uh, endosauruses. Something stomps on the troll. Yep. It's a whole pack of dinosaurs just fighting a thing. I mean, if there was anything to say how dangerous this thing was. <laughs> it's to pile of bodies. Uh, here. You know what? Let's... Hmm. Let's join the fight. We're whacking the troll. It hits us in the torso. For three. Not bad. We got a little bit of pain. We start whacking it with some more. We smash in the torso, uh, the arm, the torso. I'm imagining the torso. And then whack it across the leg. It's about as tall as I am. It sends me flying. Somehow it's grabbing me from quite a distance away. I'm in significant pain. The tree is destroyed. Or whatever it was. Oh, it's healing, isn't it? Oh, you son of a bitch. I don't know what I dropped. It said I dropped something. Thank you to everyone who supported me through the streams and videos. My awesome wife, my awesome moderator, along with my subscribers on Twitch. And a huge thank you to those who simply watch the videos and just lurk during the streams. I also want to thank my Patreon support. Thank you, Zayla Darkwater. If you liked the video, please follow the channel and, and share the video. Have a good day.